Here for blood, Joel Farrow and Daniel Therese. You're in Flyfest, you're in Glasgow. Your yeah. big screening is this evening. How are you feeling? Excited, so excited. <laughs> I, I'm at that point where it's like, I can't believe I'm still here until it's on the screen. So yeah. the excitement is anticipated. Now, Here for Blood, for many of our team, it's one of their favourite films of the entire weekend. Um, this is only the second time it's played, isn't it? You, you world premiered last year at Toronto After Dark. Exactly, yeah. mm -hmm. So this is the international premiere. Obviously, a lot of people are hyped and jazzed to see it later on. But for the people at home who w are unlucky enough to not be here, what can you say about the film in a non-spoilery way? Sure. Oh, go uh, ahead. I'll take this one yeah, for sure. Um, it is a, a, just an epic film of, of fun, blood, and guts that you just come on in, have a great time. It rocks the house. It's, uh, the, the premise is uh, the babysitter isn't able to take care of her, the, you know, the kid, and she asks her, uh, you know, housing wrestling boyfriend to step in which you play the babysitter and he, she's your boyfriend yeah yeah and uh he comes in and what's supposed to be just an easy night of pizza and video games and taking care of a kid soon becomes like a horrible night of cultists just trying to take this child but what they are not in for is that they are dealing with someone that can handle himself so mm -hmm. it instantly oh, yes. becomes like a home alone rambo-esque style like blood hits the walls laughs, gags, just like you were there. I mean, oh my gosh, the blood. That's what I'm going to say. There is a lot of blood. If people are here for blood to watch the film, yeah. yes. you're gonna, they're going to give them a lot of blood. Yeah? They will not be disappointed. No. There is a lot of blood. Oh, yeah. I think I liken it to um, Evil Dead meets early Peter Jackson. <laughs> That's you. a great way to put I it. That. I love that. Yeah, kind of a mashup of the two. <laughs> and Joel, you're amazing in the film. Thank you. Um, how did you get cast or did you have to go through an audition process? Or? I did. Yeah, actually, when I first got the script and first saw Phoebe, I fell in love with her immediately. Mm -hmm. She is unlike a character I've ever played before. And uh, she's very type A, very logical, and she has a beautiful story arc. So without giving any spo spoilers away, uh, she did, she, she gains the strength over the film. And I remember one of my initial calls with Daniel, mm -hmm. uh, I remember reading the script and going, there's gonna be a lot of blood in this. So I said to him, I said, okay, how much blood are we talking? Because I wanna be covered in blood. Yep. And you delivered. He didn't disappoint. And I was picking blood out of my hair for weeks after. So. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah. <laughs> That's an excellent note. And I was like, yes, we need more gallons. More. For more her blood. scene. Yeah. yeah. Now, right. Daniel, I think this is your second film, isn't it? This is probably like my biggest film to this scope. But yeah, as a younger director, I've done a few films back then. Uh, but Were they ones, genre or not? They're definitely genre films. Like, okay. uh, they're like, they're fun, uh, you know, wild rides are just like crazy chaotic stuff but this is the film that I, I was aspiring to make like with uh to the quality that it can be mm. and so I like to consider that this is the one that's really going to step us up and it was quite a slog to make it wasn't it from a financial perspective yeah I mean and you wanted to make it completely independently as well we, didn't you? yeah brilliant yes. we we did it on our own and on our own terms and I think the passion and the creativity from the core crew that was right from the from the get-go understood like the only way we can make it is to do it ourselves. No one's going to give us the opportunity. Let's make it right. Let's put the efforts in to you know achieve a quality that we want for both the fans and, and for the genre itself because it's a passionate, fun, beautiful genre. And I, I just I think you could see that everyone on set was so passionate about just being e there. Yeah, and I think that was one of the most beautiful parts about filming was that everyone truly cared about the project. Everyone wanted to be mm -hmm. there, and it shows. I mean, it's it was really fun to make, and I think the goal was to have everybody to just have a lot of fun watching it. So I mean, it takes a special amount of people to ask, like, can you do a movie where you can stay up from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m.? Yeah. And night shoots. Wow. <laughs> night shoots where, you know, an indie film where, like, who are these guys? And, you know, everyone pulled through. And somehow, through that beautiful nightmare, we come up with this bloody mess. So mm -hmm. It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. And, her, Joelle, had you seen any horror pictures in advance of this? Or did you recommend any? To uh, yeah, I mean, there was kind of, yeah. there was, like, a carry moment <laughs> that yeah. I had, uh, which was great. Um, Evil Dead as yeah. well. Um, uh, Cabin in the Woods, I believe, Cabin was one woods, that you asked. Yeah, uh, um, there was a there was a few there. A couple zombie ones too. Yes, I think, yes, yeah. Return of the Living Dead. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. That was one yeah. too. Um, there Lots was of a lot of inspiration. I actually watched that with a couple of people who was also were also in the film. Uh, yeah. Both Sam and Kelly, who play Mike and Christine, uh, we had a nice little horror night of watching some films. <laughs> good, yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And what's happening with distribution for the film? Have you heard anything yet? I know it's probably very early days because yeah, yeah. not many people have we've, seen we've it. We've literally just released it, so like we're a free agent right now. So like the the 
we are open to some of the biggest you know opportunities for that film to go and i think where it needs to be is a theatrical release so like we're we yeah because really, it play it's going to play so well with yeah the audience, I, I, even for the first time to see that experience in toronto after dark it was uh really amazing because this movie was like you know made with for the big screen mm. and i think that's where it's going to end up and then from there to streaming and all the source, but it's definitely a theater movie. I mean, yeah. I can't wait yeah. for you to see it. Yeah. And how great, we must mention finally, the, the, the little girl. You go ahead. Like, like how, Maya? Yeah, just, yes, just amazing. she's amazing. She's my best friend. Um, she's so sweet. She was such a pro. Like, speaking of night shoots, there would be, you know, you're filming all night long, and she would be at 3 a.m. teaching like the whole cast and crew TikTok dances, yeah. keeping the energy up. Wow. She was, and just so and talented. how old is she? During filming, she was 10 or 11? Uh, 11. 11 yeah. during so filming. So she must be like 13 or something. Yeah, 14. maybe. She, but she's so did mature. She, did she yeah. love, I know you love the blood, and obviously you love the blood. Did she love the blood as well? She, was she, was, she, she playing... loved it so much that there was a point where she was like super excited for some really crazy special effects to be a part of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and my goodness, without spoilers, yeah. there's some amazing special effects, isn't there? Yeah. Oh, well, mm -hmm. that's, that's basically uh, yeah. another uh, character in yeah. the film. It's, yeah. It's yeah. Yep. A yep. classic. Yep. Right? But she was she was fantastic. She was such a bubbly spirit on set. And she made my job look easy. Because, <laughs> like, it was one of my first times working with a child actor. And I was like, she come in, know her part, and do the part. And I was like, wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. I, like, I had barely any notes for her. Because she was, it was almost like we had so much of her to put in the film. Yeah. And we just used it all. Yeah, she was great. Is there anything you'd like to say, finally, to, just to the audience, to the, the Fright Fest audience or the yeah. Glasgow audience, to direct to camera? Have so much fun watching this film. We had so much fun making it, and the goal is for you to have a ton of fun watching it. Yeah, uh, scream when you can, laugh when you can, because like it's every moment is just a blood splatter, fun roller coaster of a horror ride. And it's like, if you're a fan of the genre, this was made from fans for fans, and you're going to see it right through. Get ready for blood. Here for blood. Here for blood. <laughs> <laughs>